With multicam editing, you can take video files from multiple cameras, sync them together, and then switch between those angles in real time as you edit the footage in Final Cut or Adobe Premiere. We're going to cover multicam editing in both Final Cut and Adobe Premiere. You can use the chapters in this video to jump to your editing software of choice. And one important factor before we jump into the editing. As you record four multicam setups, make sure every camera is recording some kind of audio. Final Cut and Adobe Premiere will sync those camera angles based on the audio connected to the video. You can line it up later if you don't have audio for a specific angle, but it makes it a lot faster and easier to sync those clips together if they all have the same audio. It doesn't have to be great audio, it could be the built-in microphone on your mirrorless or DSLR camera, but having that audio will allow Final Cut and Premiere to sync those clips very quickly so you don't have to try and match them up perfectly. So let's jump into Final Cut multicam editing and then we'll get to Adobe Premiere. To create a multicam file, I'm going to select at least two clips here in the browser. I'm going to select my voiceover file here and my A-roll camera shot. I'm going to right click those files and choose new multicam clip. You can choose to name the new clip, we'll label it multicam test, and I'm going to leave this box checked for use audio for synchronization. Again, if you recorded audio on each of those camera angles, Final Cut can quickly match those up and you don't have to line it up later. Final Cut's going to try and predict what format these files are in, and this is actually right, it's 4K 30 frames per second, but you can also use custom settings to force a specific resolution and frame rate, even rendering style, for the multicam clip. I'm going to use automatic settings and hit OK. After just a few seconds, I now have a multicam file here in my clips browser. When you double click this new multicam file, it will open up the angle editor. And here I can see my A-roll angle and my voiceover file right here. And they're actually synced already together. You can see the audio waveforms matching pretty seamlessly. Now you can add more angles even after you've created a multicam file. I'm going to select this little arrow here next to a file name and choose Add Angle. This now opens a new angle track and I'm going to select my B-roll camera up here. I'll drag that file down into this new track but you'll see it's not synchronized properly. You can actually sync a new angle even after a multicam clip has been created. I'm going to select the clip in this new angle, choose this arrow next to Untitled Angle, and choose Sync Selection to Monitoring Angle. That means it's going to take the clip I just selected and try to match it up or sync the audio with the monitoring angle, which is the angle that's highlighted in gray in your multicam editor. After selecting Sync Selection to Monitoring Angle, you'll see the clip actually moves and is now in sync with my other video. Now you can actually make adjustments to the audio and video like color grading here in the multicam editor so it's ready and already done when you bring it into your project. For instance, if I select this A-roll clip here of myself, I can choose to color correct this piece of footage. Maybe I want to make it a little more contrasty, but bring up the exposure, maybe increase the saturation. And now this clip is already color graded for my project. I can also choose an audio file. Maybe I want to apply equalization and loudness to increase the volume. You can do it all right here in the multicam editor. You can also name the clips by clicking the titles here on the right, which can be helpful, especially when you actually get into editing your project. Now that my multicamera clip is set up, I'm going to jump into a new project. Here I have a multicam editing project that's blank, and I'll select the multicam clip here, drag it down into the timeline, and we'll see this is now the multicam clip right here in the timeline. Now if I right click this clip here in Final Cut, I can choose the video angle and the audio angle to use at any given moment. Now the audio angle, I want to be the voiceover, so I'm going to select that. You'll see the waveform change, and it's now pulling from that audio clip in the multicam editor. Now I can actually change the camera angle as well by right clicking and choosing a video angle. Let's say I want the angle to change at this point in the timeline. I can select the blade tool, I can split the clip here, right click, active video angle, and choose B-roll. Now I'll go from the A-roll shot to the B-roll shot right there at the break. Let's play a quick preview. And now I can switch between those angles throughout the project. Now Final Cut has an even faster way to switch between angles, and that's the angle viewer. Now if I go up to the menu bar and click View, I can do Show in Viewer and then Angles. This is going to open up a new workspace right here, and this is showing all the angles in real time. I'm going to close my Clips browser so we can see this a little larger. Now I can actually click on whatever clip that I want as the timeline plays in real time, and it will automatically split the clip and select the right angle as it goes. Now here in the Angle Viewer, you can choose to switch the video and audio angles upon clicking, just the video or just the audio. I actually only want to change the video angle because I want that voiceover file to be consistent throughout the whole project. Now that I've selected video only in my switcher, I'm going to play this timeline and click the angle that I want to appear in real time and you'll see it automatically split the clip 
and select the right angle. A B-roll, top-down camera, and even a separate audio file that I can sync with these other two video files in one multicam clip. Then using Final Cut or Adobe Premiere, you can switch between these angles now you'll see it's automatically split the clip in the proper places and chosen the right video angle as I clicked it in real time. This multicam editing and selecting the angles in real time is an incredibly fast way to edit multiple camera recordings together. Now I'll show you how to create a multicam clip in Adobe Premiere. I've imported the same three files here in Adobe Premiere, and if I select all three just like in Final Cut, I can right click and choose Create Multicamera Source Sequence. You can name the multicam file, and then you do have many options for customizing this multicam clip. You probably don't need to change many of these settings, and if you have audio attached to these clips, Premiere will sync them together just like in Final Cut. If I hit OK, you'll now see a multicam clip has been created here, and the source clips have been put into a folder. Now I'll drag this multicam clip here into the timeline, and you'll see the audio and video here are on separate tracks. Now just like in Final Cut, I can split this clip, then I can right click on this video clip, and choose multi-camera, and enable the second camera angle. So now it'll be the A-roll shot here, and the B-roll shot here. Also, like in Final Cut, I can double-click the multi-cam clip here in the timeline, and it'll bring up the editor where I can select each angle individually, and here you can adjust some of the color grading and audio settings of the individual files in the multi-cam clip. Now, a great way to use multi-cam editing with your Riverside recordings is if you use the secondary camera feature with the Riverside app. We have an entire video going through how to use secondary camera feature. You can check that link above or in the video description. With secondary camera, you can use an iPhone, an iPad, even multiple devices at once to record multiple camera angles in addition to the main or A-roll camera that you're using in Riverside for your interview or recording. So here I have a Riverside recording where I use the secondary camera feature. So as you can see, I can download my A-roll video clip here and also my secondary camera angle, which I actually use my iPhone to record. I'm going to download both of those high quality video tracks of both my A-roll and secondary camera angle and bring them into Final Cut in a multicam sequence. Now here in Final Cut, you'll see I have both of these Riverside recordings, the primary angle and a secondary camera angle. Now I can select both of those clips, right click and choose new multicam clip. And this is a Riverside multi. You'll see the new multicam clip here. I'll double click to open the clips editor. Now when you use the secondary camera feature in Riverside, that clip does not have any audio attached. So any mobile devices, iPhone or iPad that was used as multiple angles won't have audio. But because those secondary angles were recorded at the same time as your main clip, then they'll be perfectly in sync. They're the same length, so you don't have to move anything around. So as you can see here, they're perfectly in sync because both clips are the same length. Now let's drag this new Riverside multi-clip with that secondary camera angle into the timeline. I'm actually gonna open the angle viewer one more time and you'll see now I have both of the camera angles, the primary or A-roll and the secondary camera, which was my iPhone, available to me throughout the clip. And I can switch between those clips in real time throughout the project. So that's how to use multi-cam editing in both Final Cut and Adobe Premiere. If you have more questions or would like to learn more about our advanced workflows, we have an entire playlist covering color grading, audio repair and effects, and more. You can check out that playlist at the link above or in the video description and subscribe to the Riverside channel. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. We have lots of content for podcasters, audio equipment, and of course, how to do remote recording with Riverside. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.